I'm a meat eater, I can work the microphone, sorry. Oh, I see what we're talking about. Wow. Right. Um, the song I had kind of wanted to sing is completely out of my range, and I have no hope of singing it, but the idea of beauty and beauty culture is really important to me, so this song kind of takes it at a different angle that I really appreciated. I think you'll understand it when I sing it. When I saw you at the grocery store, you were sharing a shopping cart with her, and I couldn't turn and run away. I didn't know what to say. You introduced us for the first time, and I had to look her in the eyes, but you could not imagine my surprise. Can't she? You're leaving me for an ugly girl. Does she talk about politics and all that stuff that used to make me sick? Does she smoke cigars and stay up late? Oh, is she so great? Does she tell you what you want to hear? And I bet that she could grow a beard. I'd feel better thinking you were queer. It's not fair. I can't compare to an ugly girl. Ha 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 ha, the joke's on me. I feel jealous and I feel mean. Is she so nice that it makes up for her face? There's no way. Do you have to keep your eyes closed? Do you have to keep the lights down low? Oh, I bet you wish you had a blindfold. It's not fair. I can't compare to an ugly girl. Thank you so much, Katie. All right, now we have Brooke reading some poetry. Okay, so I'm reading some couplets that was written by EQ. I said that right? He's a Zen master in the 15th century. Age 80, weak. I shit and offer it to Buddha. Even if Buddha himself kneeled at my deathbed, he wouldn't be worth shit. Self, other, right, wrong, wasting your life arguing. You're happy, really. You are happy. And then, forget what the masters wrote. Truth's a razor. Each instant sitting here, you and I being here. That's it. Hey, thank you so much, Brooke. <laughs> I like Buddha. I don't know about you, but I like Buddha. <laughs> All right, now we have uh, John T. and Aggie. Oh, oh, just just one. Okay, so just John T. All right. Tell me you're ready. <laughs> Tell me you start. All right, my name is John Travers. I'm a senior at Bowling Green State University. Um, this poem right here is a poem that I wrote last year, actually, for uh, AIDS Prevention Week. And Caribbean Association, we had a program to talk about AIDS and different HIV and stuff. This is it's called Beautiful Black Princess. Ouch, goddamn, you stupid bitch. Messing, fucking with your ass, you burned up my shit. Hell yeah, I use a condom on your ass. But since you're a queen, your honey is more potent than the rest. 
beautiful queen, you can't affect the princes or the kings. Because there's so much, there's so many more chances that bars will come in between. You represent the mother of the earth. Brown skin, we're all made from dirt. But don't be confused and misjudge your own worth. The curse words I've spoken is because of the violence within me. This week I watched too much TV, too much MTV, BET, VH1, and Spike, all detrimental to the well-being of my life. I apologize because in the beginning I was angry, I, but that's because I forgot all the wars you've won. One third of us can't afford to stand where you stand. Forty percent of my brothers are not free to become your man. You made it through the slums and stand firm on university steps. Now please don't let any man take away your last breaths. Your nappy roots tie strength, love, and blessings to your existence, as well as the braids that tie you to curses, pain, and strife in your persistence. To become the leader of a pack, the shepherd of the sheep, the guardian of your princesses, and the mother of future kings. You are my beautiful black queen. I kneel to your existence. So please do not allow the follow, fallen ones to deter God's plan and vision. No infection, disease, or poison transmitted will cause my vision to blur you indifferent. In my eyes, you will always be my beautiful black princess. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. Thank you. Um, I, Ogie? Ogie! Up on the stage next. A short Um. No one that's saying, but you know, I just want to share some poetry as well. Maybe boring. Um, the first one is called A Simple Text. Um, it's just one of my older stuff, so enjoy. Okay. It is always my favorite time of day to flip my phone and find your name, to be the first to greet your thoughts, the first to meet your light of day, to be the first one in your heart. Somehow, I know this feeling's right. It is always my favorite time of the night. When unsuspected, you grace my phone. Good night is what you simply say, and all the while, a smile is there. A smile you know for once is true. A smile is there when you are here. I cannot lie or hide the fact that I'm the last you think about. So as you lay your head to rest, you say I stay there in your dreams. And all of this you share with me with just a simple text. Good night. Like tiny, so you know, have ADD, so I understand. Um, the second one's called uh, When I Have Nothing to Say. I sit under this withering oak tree, pondering everything, yet nothing appears on my waiting pages. I want so very much to omit the depths of my soul, to expose the scars and seen. I want so very much to tell of where I've been and still. Somehow, the words that are drowning never seem to make it to surface. My chest is bursting with things I want to say to you. So why does my pen refuse to bleed the words? It is times like this that I hate the most. When all that's unsaid leaves nothing to say. And the last one is called Stranger. I'm sorry, this is like not even flowing. <laughs> it's so different, but there you go. The first time I saw him, I knew he was something. With eyes so deep it can drown an ocean, he consumed me with, uh, with his gaze and left me wanting to keep the storm aroused by the touch of his hands, the hail that befalls when he looks at me strong. The secret within so easily released, my own and his own shared with much ease. While there in his arms, there was nothing to want, nothing presenting a better made heaven. I started to wonder and question the fact that this was a stranger just moments ago. 